Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm Landon Delitzing and welcome to another video. This is where we talk about the news or anything else trending out there in the world. So I have a ton of stories for you guys, so let's just jump right into it. Kim Jong-un went missing after a no-show at a memorial he has never missed. The memorial was for his dad's death. It was the sixth anniversary since his father, Kim Jong-il, passed away back in 2011 at the age of 69 years old. I guess it seems like Kim Jong-un has just been super busy with the military and getting ready for this huge war. Also, North Korea's second highest ranking official also went missing. Maybe President Donald Trump made a move that no one knows about. Also in the news was a funeral held for a heroic firefighter, 32-year-old Corey Iverson. He was killed in the massive Southern California fire. The fire stretches almost 200 miles from Ventura to San Diego. Corey died from burns and smoke inhalation. Thousands of people were in a line to pay tribute to pay their respects. You can see all of these vehicles lined up on the freeway as they carry the body to the funeral site. And on the bridges, you can see the firefighters and other people who have been affected by this guy paying their tribute and giving this guy their respect. Over in Atlanta just a week before Christmas and during the busiest time of the year, the airport lost power. There was an apparent fire in an underground electrical equipment area. Terminals were without power, which means the airplanes were not able to board safely. Thousands of flights were delayed. About 275,000 people go through this airport daily. They did get the power back up, but there was still a delay. There's going to be a delay for a bit until they can recover from all the hours lost in operation. Okay, moving on, let's talk about 53-year-old Dr. Simon Bramhall, who was just admitted to a Birmingham Crown Court. So the reason why he's in court, because he's been caught branding two of his patients' liver with his initials on it. I mean, is this real life right now? This just sounds so stupid. And that's stupid spelt with three O's. So how someone found out was because one of his patients was actually having complications, so a surgeon had to reopen him, and they noticed that there was letters carved into this patient's liver. Dr. Simon Dum Dum was suspended because of this, and he eventually resigned from his surgical position at Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. Not too long ago, he appeared in court where he was charged with assault causing actual bodily harm, but he pleaded guilty last Wednesday to a lesser charge of assault. He is free on bail right now and will be sentenced on January 12th, 2018. 18. I kind of want to follow up with this case to see like how long this guy's gonna go to prison for. I think someone should brand the insides of him while he's in prison. The Simpsons seem to be pretty good about predicting the future and well they have apparently done it again when they predicted that Disney would buy out 21st Century Fox. This prediction came 20 years ago. Take a look at the screenshot I was able to get from their show and this episode aired back in 1998. You can see the 20th Century Fox logo and in the small print, I'll zoom it in for you guys, it says a division of Walt Disney. Kevin Hart just went on the radio 105.1 for The Breakfast Club and he talked about how he cheated on his pregnant wife. He said it was a bad error in judgment. He did post this video on social media not too long ago. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape or form. And I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. It was really brave for him to talk about it. He was hoping that his wife will one day forgive him. He just got married last year after dating for a while. SpaceX launched a use the rocket and spacecraft for the first time ever. Liftoff occurred at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, and everything went off without any problems. Many in the space industry didn't think it could be possible, it could be done, and they were stunned when it was successful. Usually spacecrafts are only used once if they come back to Earth, and it's for many different reasons. One of those reasons is the spacecraft comes crashing down to Earth, causing so much damage to the spacecraft, it just becomes too costly to fix. You might as well just rebuild the whole thing. Three astronauts also blasted off for the International Space Station. A capsule carrying three astronauts are on a two-day trip to the International Space Station. There was one person from Russia, Japan, and the US. Also, NASA has just announced that they have discovered a really hot, rocky planet by using Google's help. Google Google and NASA worked together to find new planets and they were successful. Also in the news was a 245 million year old fossil that was named Darth Vader and due to the resemblance it has to the Star Wars villain, well here's the side by side comparison and I'm not sure if it looks exactly alike but you know what let's just go with it. Maybe that is really Darth Vader from millions of years ago. It's crazy how scientists can tell that this fossil is over 245 million years old. 
I mean, how? The world's first flying sports car goes up on sale next year. I mean, is this real life right now? The future is freaking here. Just take a look at these pictures. This just seems so unreal. Well, this Samsung Motors has designed the world's first flying sports car that can travel at a speed of up to 200 miles per hour and reach heights of up to 13,000 feet. Imagine flying cars becoming the norm. I could see so many problems, but at least there wouldn't be any traffic. Quick sports updates for you guys. Kobe Bryant, his jersey number has just been retired. He wore the number 8 and wore the number 24 during his career, his 20-year career with the LA Lakers. It was an amazing career. His jersey was retired during the Golden State game. It was last night. I watched it. It was amazing. It was emotional. It was a very emotional time for Kobe. His legacy will always live on. I'm so glad I was able to watch him play the game of basketball. Kobe Bryant's former coach Phil Jackson was unable to attend the ceremony. He wasn't able to travel from his Montana home. Phil Jackson played a huge role in Kobe Bryant's success. He actually coached Kobe Bryant during all of his five NBA championships. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys got to the end of the video, put a hashtag at the end and let me know if you guys noticed the background screens. Uh, we thought we changed it up a little bit. We decided to not put an image there for today's video because why not? I kind of forgot. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.